Now one thing you do need to factor in is if you are using Eclipse, you need to install this Eclipse FX add-on. The way you can think about it is, uh, think about Adblock Plus, Ghostry uh, for Chrome. Well, what are you doing with that? You're not necessarily changing Chrome, you're just giving it a little add-on. The same thing's actually happening with Eclipse, is I'm not changing Eclipse, I'm actually just kind of adding on this little extra little bit to kind of now handle JavaFX. Now it's in the works to get it kind of up and uh, functioning, but right now it doesn't work. So what you have to do is inside of Eclipse, you go to the home section and you'll want to install new software. Now inside here, you'll go to that add button and you know name it what you like. I kind of would name it what I'm downloading. And then you'd look for that FTP. Again, that FTP, is right here. So kind of type that in and then go through the song and dance of installing it. And I've already got mine installed, so I'm kind of good to go with it. So now let's take a look at a sample program. Go ahead and pause this for a second and look at what we're seeing here. Well, the first thing you're going to notice is we've got a lot of imports. We got a lot of imports, and that's because we're now dealing with the fact that a lot of these objects, a lot of these classes, have already been built for us. You know, a button, uh, we don't have to redesign the wheel with a button. It's already built for us. Now, we do have a few things that we need to deal with, uh, namely the fact that we're dealing now with something called an application, a scene, and a stage. Think of this like uh, a play or uh, a TV show would probably be a good idea of this. Uh, it's a play. A play would be good. Uh, you have the stage, the stage, and people per, uh, perform scenes on that stage. Now what we can do is we can have multiple stages going on, but at our juncture right now, in the very basic sense, what we're doing is we're saying, I have a scene, I have a stage, I want to perform on it with my scene. So notice what I'm doing here. The first thing is I'm saying that I now extend application. We've already learned about inheritance. Extending something just means I take a lot of the methods and uh, variables that come from the application class, which is abstract, and I have to kind of work on them. Again, because application class is abstract, that means I have to implement the start method. That start method asks for a stage. Again, we're thinking in the sense that, uh, think of it like, um, trying, <laughs> I'm trying to think, uh, think of it like a very high classy theater. You've got multiple stages. You've got a oh, movie theater. You've got uh, this room, this room, this room, this room, this room. They all have their own kind of little uh, stages, if you will, uh, that then produce scenes. And they're all kind of working you know, side by side. We're dealing with the main room. We're dealing with the main stage here. Now, like I said, we don't have to worry about a lot of these elements, uh, you know, reinventing them uh, because they've already been built for us. You know, a button is a button is a button. A checkbox is a checkbox is a checkbox. A circle is a circle is a circle. So these are already built for us in the JavaFX library. And so what I can come in here and do is I can just make something as simple as uh, button, okay, uh, scene. I now add my button to my scene. That's kind of what that's doing is I'm saying, oh, well, my scene, I would like you to uh, portray the button, the button. Uh, this button is okay. And then on top of that, you see that I then have 200 by 250. What I'm saying there is that's my window size. This is my width in my column or height. Width, height. So that allows me to now kind of specialize how big my scene is. It could be super teeny tiny or it could be really, really big. For example, this screen right now that you're looking at, this is full screen. However, this this is my little broadcasting software. Hi, recursion going on here. You can see that this is actually tiny. This has a set size to it. 
So now what we can do is we can add those in and we've got a few different methods for stages. You can see that my stage, for example, has a show title. It has a set scene and then it has a show. You know, you can think of it again like a, a, a play. You've got the draw curtain kind of right in front and you don't see anything until you know the drum roll, please. <laughs> to be or not to be, that is the question. That's what we're seeing here is when we say primary stage show, that's where we go. Now, what does it mean that this stage show? What does all that mean? Well, what it all means is, again, we can think of the stage as sort of like my window. That's here's my little Xbox. Here's my little uh, make it bigger box. Here's my little minimize. Here's my title. Here's my panel. Here's the actual where it's all kind of going. And this is my OK button. So let's actually kind of see this in practice. 